Hello my Mobile Legends friends and welcome to this video about how to counter all marksman heroes. If you are a loyal follower of this channel, you by now understand that choosing the right hero is one of the most important factors of increasing your chance of winning. By countering the heroes the enemy team chooses, you can have a big advantage. That's why I want to learn you how to counter any marksman in Mobile Legends. In this video you'll learn about the strength of each marksman and what you can do to counter the certain hero. You can use the timestamps below if you want to counter a certain hero, but I highly suggest you watch the full video to increase your overall knowledge about marksman heroes. Please give a like on the video and let's start right away. Let's start with Clint. His passive makes Clint able to deal high damage, hit multiple targets and have longer range after casting a skill. His quite high DPS and large range makes him a strong pick at the moment. If you want to counter Clint in early game in the gold lane, you need also a long range hero or a hero that's able to come close easily and have higher DPS. Muscov, Leslie and Irritol make a good chance to win the lane. If you want to counter Clint with other heroes in late game, the ones with a bit of defense or high burst damage that are able to come closely can take Clint out easily. Pick heroes like Elucard, Aldus, Ling, Fanny and Hanzo to counter Clint. Nathan can also be a quite annoying hero to fight against these days. Luckily there are also ways to counter him. Nathan can deal high damage with his basic attack when enemies line up, since it acts like a boomerang. He also gets a big amount of extra movement and attack speed after dealing damage with his skills, which can stack up to 6. Therefore it's quite important you're careful when he gets buffed by having successfully casted skills against minions, monsters or heroes. Try to keep distance between your allies, so his basic attack doesn't hit multiple heroes. Also CC helps a lot to keep him from getting stacks. He's mostly played as a jungler, but if you match up against him in the gold lane, you can counter Nathan with long range heroes, since this way you can chase him away. A few examples are Clint, Leslie and Layla. Heroes that can counter Nathan in late game are the ones with CC skills. I suggest you pick heroes like Nana, Selina, Tigreal, Kerokacha and Balorik. By the way, if you want to know which are the best marksman heroes of the current season, you can check my video about 5 great marksman heroes that all can be wonderful picks in certain situations. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. One of the heroes in this video is Beatrix, because she has really high damage output. That's why it's important to understand how to counter this hero. The thing with Beatrix is that it kinda depends on what gun she's using. Of course you don't know which ones she'll mainly use before the match begins, so you need a hero that's quite effective against her in early game. Because most of her guns are from close distance, heroes with high range work quite well. Also the ones with higher DPS can win easily in a 1 vs 1 situation. A few marksmen that can counter Beatrix in the gold lane are heroes like Leslie, Muscov, Brody and Layla. She can become very strong in late game and her green gun can deal huge amounts of damage from a big distance. To counter this you need heroes that attack from a close distance since it's really hard to aim the gun. Heroes like Belmont, Roger, Kufra and Saber are the ones that can take her out. If she plays more with short range guns you need a hero with high range and or CC. A few great heroes to counter her are Veil, Cecilian, Kedita, Bedeng and Sylvana. Next up, Yi Sun Shin. He mostly gets played as a jungler and therefore is hard to counter in early game. He can switch between ranged and melee basic attack, which gives his next 2 basic attack a critical hit and this is where his true power comes from. Also his ultimate deals damage to all enemies, which can add up if you walk together with your allies. To counter this, just make sure you don't walk next to your allies. To counter Yi Sun Shin isn't that hard. Just make sure he can't come close to you easily, which makes it quite hard for him to switch between his basic attacks. Heroes with high movement speed or blink skills are a nightmare of Yi Sun Shin. Therefore you can select heroes like Lancelot, Benedetta, Pasha, Fanny, Harley and Esmeralda to counter Yi Sun Shin. Layla can also deal huge damage when she isn't countered and can farm freely. Luckily this hero can be countered very easily. Layla gets her strength from her basic attack. She already has a big range, but it gets even larger when she managed to hit a target with her first skill. Also the further she stands from the target, the more damage her basic attack deals. 
So firstly, try to dodge her first kill, so she doesn't get increased range buff. It's also important to attack her from a close distance, so she doesn't benefit from the increased damage from attacking from a big distance. If you match up against her at the gold lane, there are a few marksman heroes that can win the lane easily. Moskov, Wenwen and Carrie can come close easily and deal damage to her. Other roles that can counter Layla are the ones that come close easily. A few examples of the big list of heroes that meet this criteria are Ling, Natalia, Esmeralda, Elucard, Roger, Harley, Dyrath and Atlas. Moskov can also be a powerful hero since he has high DPS and can hit multiple targets with his basic attack. He is a great farmer, deals high damage and has quite nice stun. The downside is that he has a very short attack range, which you need to use in your advantage. If you want to counter Moskov, it's really important to hinder his farming in early game. Be very careful around the bushes and make sure you don't stay near any obstacles. He can easily jump towards you, stun you with his second skill against an obstacle and start dealing damage with his basic attack. Make sure he doesn't surprise you like this and try to stay at a big distance. Marksmen with high range can stay at a distance quite easily and therefore you should pick a hero like Leslie, Clint or Leila to win the gold lane. Other heroes that are great to counter him in late game are the ones with CC and a bit of defense. Low HP heroes are an easy target for Moskov, so be careful when you play such a hero. But heroes like Sylvana, Cho, Fulvius, Paquito and Barrett are great picks to counter Moskov. The next one is Hanabi. She is a true late game hero and her power comes from her basic attack combined with her first skill. This will make her basic attack bounce towards nearby enemies, which is quite dangerous in teamfights. To make sure she doesn't become this strong, you have to counter Hanabi in early game. Luckily this isn't too hard if you choose the right hero. Hanabi doesn't have such a great DPS in a 1 vs 1 situation, especially in early game. So if you pick a hero that has better DPS or high range, you can easily win your lane. A few marksmen that can counter Hanabi are Leila, Leslie, Clint and Moskov. In late game, there are different kind of heroes that can take Hanabi out. Her bouncing basic attack lets her heal quite well. Therefore, you need high burst damage to take her out quickly. Choose heroes like Phil, Eudora, Cecilian, Aldous and Karina. Kimi can also be quite powerful these days. She is mainly built as a mage based marksman and can deal very high damage when her first skill is activated. This also is where her true power comes from. Try to use the minions to protect you, since her basic attack will be blocked by any unit that stands between you and Kimi. When she's out of energy, it's your time to attack her, since her normal basic attack isn't that dangerous. Carrie, Moskov, Brody and Leslie can win the lane against Kimi. In late game, a strong tank hero is needed to protect the carry in a teamfight. Grog, Pelerick, Tigreal and Basha are great heroes to protect your team from Kimi's spray gun. Also heroes with high mobility are great to take her out. You can kill her easily with heroes like Helgert, Hayabusa, Cushion, Lancelot and Aldous. By the way, if you think this information is valuable, please give a hit on the like button. You can also let me know in the comments which roles you want to be featured next. Leslie is also one of my all time favorite marksman heroes and she can deal a big amount of damage. Her strength comes from her basic attack, since it deals high damage and have a great range. She can easily poke enemies and return to safety. Because of her high basic attack range, you don't want to choose a hero with low range. Heroes like Clint and Leila can attack her back after she pokes you and is a great way to counter Leslie. In late game, you need a few heroes with good physical defense, like Johnson, Grog and Kufra. To kill her, heroes with high mobility or blink skills are perfect. Heroes like Benedetta, Lancelot, Ling and Basia can come close easily to start dealing damage. Next, we have Popo and Koopa. This hero can also deal a good amount of damage, especially when the ultimate is active. I probably don't have to tell you that his strength comes from Koopa, his dog. Koopa can attack you and tank the hits, while Popo deals damage from a distance. Without Koopa, this hero is quite worthless, so if you can kill it, it is an easy win. Marksman heroes with high DPS can kill his duck quite easily, especially if it's combined with high range. 
Leila, Leslie, Clint and Beatrix shouldn't have a hard time winning the gold lane. So use such heroes to counter Popo and Koopa. In late game there are two kind of heroes with different strategies to take out Popo and Koopa. On the one side you have heroes with continuous damage which you should focus on killing Koopa. Heroes like Esmeralda, Chong Yi, Zask, Bane and Xylem can take out the dog quickly. But you can also choose a high burst damage hero to focus on killing Popo instead. Heroes like Lancelot, Benedetta, Fanny, Eamon, Aurora and Phil are great heroes to take him out. Irritol can also deal a good amount of damage. Her true power comes from her high mobility combined with great damage from her basic attack. Since she can walk while using basic attack, she can easily chase the less mobile heroes and keep dealing damage. If you want to win against her in early game in the gold lane, you need a hero with better DPS or high mobility. I suggest you pick heroes like Moskov, Brody and Bruno to counter Irritol. In late game she has a very high damage output. A tank with very high physical defense can help a lot. If you want to take her out, use high burst damage heroes that can clear her HP in one combo. Adora, Aldus, Aurora, Karina and Selina are great examples of heroes that can kill her. Mia is also a hero that has a very high DPS when having farmed a lot. Her power comes from her basic attack, since it can hit multiple targets and deal a big amount of damage in just seconds. The downside of this hero is her low movement speed and very low range and you should use this in your advantage in early game so she doesn't become strong in late game. Heroes with high range or great mobility can win easily from Mia. Clint, Brody, Irritol and Leslie don't have a hard time to win the gold lane. In late game Mia becomes very strong in team fights if she position herself right. Therefore you need the right heroes to take her down. High burst damage heroes and heroes with high range are the best ones to counter Mia. You can pick heroes like Cecilian, Phil, Chamu, Granger and Gore to kill her. Wenwen can also be a real pain if she's able to use her ultimate. It can be hard to cast the skill, but this is where her true power comes from. Also the jumping after each basic attack is very powerful against the less mobile heroes. If the enemy chooses her, make sure you don't pick a marksman with bad mobility. You can counter one one with heroes that deal a good amount of damage and also have decent mobility like Brody, Moskov, Bruno and Beatrix. If you want to counter her in late game, it's really important to make sure she doesn't cast her ultimate. High burst damage works the best to take out Wenwen effectively. Hayabusa, Karina, Lancelot and Natalia are perfect heroes to counter Wenwen. Only a few heroes left and one of them is Bruno. Bruno gets extra crit chance from his passive. He also deals increased damage with his football and this combined is a deadly combination. A good way of making Bruno less effective is let him lose his football. In early game I love to use Moskov to counter Bruno since he can use his spear to push Bruno away from his football. This will result in him not being able to deal extra damage with his football and also not receiving the extra crit chance. In late game CC works more effectively to counter Bruno. Heroes like Nana, Belric, Barretts, Cho and Tigreal are perfect heroes to take out Bruno. Carrie is the nightmare of any high HP hero. She deals true damage based on the max HP of her targets which can deal very high damage. She also can cast her skills often which makes the endless battle a quite effective item to use. In early game she isn't that strong so this is the moment to counter carry. She has quite low DPS so just pick a hero with high DPS with better range than her and you can win the gold lane easily. Heroes like Leslie, Clint, Kimmy and Bruno have no hard time in early game to take this hero out. Late game is the moment she becomes very dangerous especially for tanks. Try to avoid playing a tank with very high HP like Hylus and Belleric. Heroes with a shield work well since this kind of extra HP isn't calculated in her true damage that's based on the max HP. Heroes like Esmeralda, Lolita, Diggy, Johnson and Jawhead are there for quite effectively. Then we also have Claude. This hero gets his true power from his ultimate, which is quite strong in teamfights. It can also be used to take out minions very fast in early game. 
To counter Claude, you have to make sure he doesn't get strong in early game. He doesn't have that great DPS, so you can take him down with almost any hero with higher DPS. A few examples are heroes like Clint, Nathan, Brody and Leslie. It's very important that you don't let him make kills and farm fast. In late game he becomes quite annoying, especially in teamfights. He likely uses the Wind of Nature, which makes him immune to physical damage. Therefore, heroes with magic damage are the most effective ones to take him out. Eudora, Aurora, Phil, Esmeralda and Sylvana are great picks to counter Claude. Two heroes left and one of them is Brody. Brody has quite high DPS, especially when he managed to get a few stacks on an enemy, which increases his damage. It also makes his ultimate deal more damage, so be very careful. In early game, it's important that you move backwards when receiving stacks, since it increases his damage and therefore his DPS. I love to pick a hero that is great at poking, like Leslie and Clint. In late game, you need heroes with long range and decent damage to attack him from a safe distance. Heroes like Cecilian, Phil, Ive and Gord can be quite effective to counter Brody. The very last one is Granger. This hero has a low attack speed, but high damage. His power comes from his first skill that deals 6 bullets, which deal high damage when they all hit a target. Also his ultimate can deal a big amount of damage in seconds. He is played often as a jungler, which makes it hard to counter him in early game. In late game, you can pick heroes with high burst damage or heroes with CC, since this will cancel his first skill. Heroes like Gord, Nana, Aurora, Korokecha and Kaja are great picks to counter Granger. This were all marksman heroes and how to counter them effectively. If you want to receive more information that improves your Mobile Legends gameplay, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also let me know which kind of topics you want to see in a future video. As always, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you again in the next guide.